In this tutorial, we'll look at several ways to calculate an item cost on an order. By last cost, by site cost, and by average cost. As orders are created, the item cost is saved to the order and used to determine profit and loss. Let's look at calculating the last cost. Open the client settings and select last cost in the cost related section. When this option has been selected, the item cost on an order will be the cost of the item in the last purchase order that was received, regardless of what's entered in the site cost. You can also automatically update the site cost based on the last purchase order cost by enabling the client setting Update Product Site Cost based on PO Last Cost. Now let's look at the site cost. On the Product Detail page, there is a field called Site Cost. In the case of an item whose cost does not fluctuate, you can enter the exact cost in the site cost field. The value can be entered manually or through a bulk update. Some customers set the cost to accommodate small cost fluctuations or outside costs, like buyer fees. To calculate order profit and loss using the site cost, open the client settings and select site cost in the cost related section. A third method of determining the site cost is to use an average cost, which can be selected here. The site cost can be updated to match the average cost as well by enabling the client setting Update Site Cost when updating average cost. A simple average cost is a one to one ratio. That means that the system will look at the cost of a single unit from the time the item was first entered into the system and average the cost. If the product cost $10 and then went down to $5, the average cost would be $7.50 regardless of quantities. However, this may not be the most accurate way to determine a profit. If more stock was purchased at a lower rate, the profit and loss will reflect an inaccurate higher number. Because of this, SellerCloud allows the option of calculating with a weighted average. A weighted average places more value or weight on certain components when calculating the average. More importance can be placed on certain elements for a number of reasons, including quantity. For example, Let's say you have 10 phone chargers in stock that cost you $2 a piece. You then receive a shipment of 20 more cell phone chargers that cost you $3 a piece. With a weighted average, you would add up the costs of all the chargers to equal $80 and divide it by the 30 units purchased for a weighted average of $2.67. This means that SellerCloud will continually look at the costs of units as their POs are received into SellerCloud and apply a weighted average using the cost of the items already in stock. The weighted average calculation will look at the amount of old units that are currently in stock and weigh it against the units being received now. It will not look at total quantity of units from day one. To use a weighted average, open the client setting page and enable the setting Use Weighted Average Cost for PO. To track the cost movement of an item, open the product's purchasing page. Now click on the details link next to the average cost. This pop-up window will display the cost movement from day one. When viewing the profit and loss on an order, the item cost will have been calculated in the method that was set in the client settings. Clicking on this icon will display the order's profit and loss in greater detail. Although the grid shows a column called site cost, it is really the item cost as it has been set in the client setting. The method selected is noted above the grid. To learn more about calculating item cost, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.